It's Mega Race! What's going on guys? T Rack 87 here with MG Knights and today we're gonna do another retro revisit with Mega Race. Let's get started. <laughs> for the uninitiated is a vehicular combat simulator um, made back in the early 90s 1993 actually it was when early when it was released on DOS you know so this is really way back in the day and the reason I chose this game today to talk about is because I have some very fond memories of Mega Race um, I used to go over to my buddy's house and we used to play Mega Race all the time, like all the time, you know. I can't remember if we played any of the sequels really. I know I, I, I'm sure we played Mega Race 2, I'm not sure about the third one. This game was a lot of fun back in the day, you know, and basically what it boils down to, what the story is, you know, more or less, is that you are the enforcer. You have been selected by this virtual TV news network um, to, to basically take out these gang members on these different racetracks. Um, for entertainment, for... Hey, uh, I really hate to interrupt the tough guy, but there's only about a zillion viewers out there waiting to see you in action. So get in gear, baby. Choose a car. You know, just for people to watch on TV. And, you know, they get away with this. They say that, you know, it's all done in virtual reality so nobody actually dies. And From now on, you are on your own, Enforcer. And as I always say at this point in the show, have a nice day, baby. So you don't have to worry about actually, you know, when you're blowing up their cars and stuff like that, you know, it's not actually really a big deal. This game was a lot of fun back in the day. And, you know, it's just, it's such a, an old game. I don't think many people probably either remember the game or maybe a lot of people haven't even played the game. I am super curious if any of you guys have played this game. Um, let me know in the comments down below if you guys have played Mega Race because I, I, I do want to hear about it if you guys have any memories of this game. Um, and I, you know, I want to throw up a couple clips just for you guys to, you guys to see here. Uh, you know, it's a real basic game. There's not like a ton of story. It's hosted the the TV show is hosted by this dude named uh, Lance Boyle. Are you ready for a marvel of virtual reality? And he's quite the character. And, you know, he's actually he's in all three of the Mega Race games that are that are currently out. And uh, the last one being released, I believe, in 2002. So it's been a really long time since, you know, there's been a new one. He, he's the host of the show, and you basically, there's not really a, much of a story to the game. You know, he, he will come in and cut scene. He says different funny things about the, you know, the cars and the characters and stuff like that. And you win, like, these weird prizes. Um, you win, like, a second set of arms. You win a watch, you know, and it's just, like, this little little old, old school, like, CGI that plays that shows you what you won. Um, it doesn't actually mean anything. Um, there are, I believe, like 10 cards, either 8 or 10 cards, that you can unlock and race with. I don't think that there's really any difference in the cars, personally. I think they're aesthetically different, but in the the screen you get when you when you load up the race screen, like your, your speedometer and everything's a little bit different, but it's not that really that much different. Basically, you know, you go through and, and it's just... It's just basically really like this old school arcade game, you know, and there's no real winning the game, unfortunately. It's just, you know, there's no like circuit Grand Prix mode or anything like that. It's just you, you're playing to try to get the high score. Um, and, and, that, and that's all there really is to it. So it's just a really basic game, but it's actually a lot of fun to play. I actually, I bought it last night on Steam. It just popped into my head the other day that I was thinking about this game and I was like, oh God, I want to play that again. And it's three bucks on Steam. It's two ninety nine, and I think all three of them are two ninety nine. So if you've never played Big Race and you want like a dose of the early nineties, like you should download this game. It's it's really not bad at all. It's, it's a little repetitive, and I mean the graphics obviously are you know dated to say the least. But it is it is a lot of fun just to go around and race. And fortunately for me. Uh, it worked on the Xbox controller, and it could, because I remember when I used to play with my buddy back in the day, it was really hard with the keyboard and mouse, you know, and it really, maybe I've gotten older, maybe I've gotten, you know, a little bit better with my, like, my motor skills and stuff like that, but it, I remember having a really hard time with this game. The other reason I wanted to talk about this game is that there is actually a, re a reboot coming out for Mega Race. And there's not a ton of info out there yet. There's a little bit on the Facebook page. Uh, if you just go to Facebook, search Mega Race Reboot. And there's a little bit of information, I think a couple of videos on it. 
uh, but it is something that I recently found um, just out there on the internet, you know, and I was searching around for Mega Race. And I'm super excited for it because this is like really just the halicon of my childhood days. You know, this is just the glory right here. Me and my buddy would always play this game or we would always play um, like there's like this F-16 game, a couple of the computer games. And we were really big at the computer games back in the day. We did play PlayStation games, but the computer was where it was really at. You know, Gazillionaire was another one. Uh, that we played a lot. So, anyways, I just wanted to show you guys uh, this game, and I wanted to show you a couple clips of the game, and uh, just wanted to show you guys, like, you know, what really, for those of you that don't remember, or those of you that may be too young to remember, what gaming was really like, like, really early back on in the 90s, you know, when, when, uh, when gaming was really kind of, you know, just in, it's not its infancy, but it's, you know, it's, it's just like, childhood stage, you know, like these games weren't complex or there weren't like a million customization options or anything like that. There was just, you know, it was you and like the racetrack and like your enemies and it was just like you and the bad guys and that was it, you know, and it was a lot of fun back then. Um, I will say personally that this game, even though I love playing it, you know, going back and playing a game so old when you have games out now like Forza 3 and stuff like that, it is a little bit dated. Um, it did get a little bit old quickly, you know, I was glad it was only three bucks. Um, it, it's got a very distinct soundtrack, all the levels are very distinct and cool to look at. Uh, I, I do, I love the soundtrack. Uh, but it is something that, you know, it can't compete with, you know, like today's games, obviously. But it's a lot of fun, though, you know, it's it's fun to go back and, and see something like that. So anyways, that's it for this this episode of Retro Reviews, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you guys go check Mega Race out and go search for the uh, the reboot. Um, like I said, if you want to pick up Mega Race, it's fun. You know, you can get a good couple hours out of it easily. Um, you know, and it's three bucks. You, know, you can't really, you know, what's three bucks? You know, if you lose three bucks, you lose three bucks. Who cares? So anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you again soon. Thank you.